guys. Tonight I'm going to show you how to salt your bait uh, for, well, how I catch my mackerel bait fish to freeze and use it on my next fishing trip. I use salted shrimp. Uh, you could use this process for any other uh, bait you use, squid, uh, even mackerel chunks. You can salt those. And uh, basically what the salt does, it cures the fish without uh, cooking it and it dries it out slightly. So it's a little more rubbery, stays on your hook a lot better. And it's a very easy process. So let's get started. So what you start out with is thawed dry shrimp, whole shrimp, not, not the jumbo expensive shrimp, but the medium size shrimp that are uncooked and peeled. Um, I find that those work best and uh, they're a lot less money than you know using jumbo shrimp just for fishing so once you got them defrosted or thawed and dry just pat them on a uh, two layers of paper towel and make sure they're they're perfectly dry and what i like is to make uh keep some of them whole but i also like to make uh, pieces that are big enough to fit onto a single hook on a sabiki rig or a carolina rig and uh, I get strikes on uh, this fish, both uh, perch, uh, some corbina, and um, mackerel, mostly mackerel, like off the pier. Uh, and I use that mackerel for uh, future bait for future trips. I vacuum pack it and uh, just freeze it right away and, and take it with me to the pier. That way I don't have to buy uh, mackerel bait at uh, the tackle shop. So once you got these, these shrimp here, you're gonna wanna cut them if you want pieces. Just, you know, cut them like manageable, manageable chunks. You know, nothing too big, nothing too crazy. And then once we get our last piece out of that, you know, we just toss this, uh, this tail away. And uh, these ones I'm going to leave whole. I just wanted to show you how you can cut them and make them nice, manageable pieces to stick on your uh, stick on your hook. All right. Next is the salt, and this is the important part. You need sea salt, but non-iodized sea salt. Can't contain iodine. Just straight sea salt, and uh, that that's what you need. Um, we have some right here, some Morton natural sea salt. And you can see on the bottom, the salt does not supply iodide and that's a necessary nutrient. No iodide. It affects how the shrimp is going to taste and, and how it presents to the fish and they won't come near it. What you do is you take this, this salt shaker and you got a, a you know, a Tupperware or a plastic, uh, plastic uh, disposable plastic uh, box container and uh, you're going to want to put a layer of salt like this on the bottom and then once you do that you just go ahead and lay your your shrimp on that and then you're going to want to cover it up You want it completely covered. You're going to want to take your uh, shrimp that's uh, being that's being salted, and you're going to put it on in the fridge, just like that. No lid. Uh, you want the air to get to it and to dry it, dry it out. You also don't want it to uh, start rotting before it's cured, and the air circulating prevents that from happening. Um, every day you want to come out here and toss it. Make sure it's uh, still covered with salt. All right, now after leaving it in the fridge to uh, dry out and to cure for about five to seven days, five days to a week is, is optimal, what I found. You're gonna to want to take your, your shrimp out of there And what you're left with is 
bits, nice size for hooks and whole shrimp uh, for bigger hooks. So what do you do with all this uh, shrimp salt in your container? Well, what I have found is that uh, you can reuse it. You just stick it in the microwave for about, <clears throat> excuse me, for about two minutes. Uh, it'll, you know, steam up and, and release all the liquid that has uh, gathered in there that has made the salt uh, moist. And you could throw in another batch of shrimp. Uh, you can throw in squid. Uh, speaking of squid, if anybody that's watching this is from Orange County, California, uh, can you let me know where I can find boxes of whole squid, like the three pound boxes of whole squid that you used to be able to get at any supermarket, but can't find them anywhere down here in Orange County, unless I'm just going in the wrong places. But yeah, what you're left with is a nice pile of cured, salted uh, bits, cured, salted whole pieces, and uh, you recycle your salt. We'll put that aside. So that's it, salted shrimp. I hope you learned something from this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions uh, about anything fishing related, I do my best to answer them and maybe make a video about it. My next video, I'm gonna show you how to uh, seal up this bait in a vacuum sealer, uh, which I find indispensable to uh, my fishing. And um, so that's it. Thank you. Bye.